Hello friends, Carson here, and in today's video I am going to be explaining some of the key differences between shared hosting and managed WordPress hosting. So let's get into it. Also, I'll drop a link in the description area so you can compare the best shared hosting plans, managed WordPress plans, and receive special discounts. Now let's get into the topic. So the first thing we need to cover is a brief overview of what shared hosting is and what managed WordPress hosting is. Now, shared hosting is essentially where your website is hosted on a shared server with many other customers' websites. You can think of this as a way for the company to share the resources and keep it cost efficient. Now, usually on a shared hosting server, you will be able to install the CMS you want with maybe a few exceptions. So now, what is managed WordPress hosting? Well, think of managed WordPress hosting as a shared server, but everyone uses WordPress and nothing else. You see, managed WordPress hosting is a WordPress specific hosting product that comes with customizations, optimizations, improved security, and features specifically for websites that are built on WordPress. You will usually get WordPress specific caching, WordPress specific security, and WordPress specific features like automatic updates on this server. In general, you can think of it as a hosting plan customized specifically for WordPress websites. So now what does this mean and what are the pros and cons of each hosting plan? Now some of the pros of shared hosting are that you pay virtually nothing per month and that in general it can be viewed as a rather unlimited plan you pretty much get to do as much as you want within boundaries obviously your site may load a little bit slower just depending on the shared hosting plan the cons however are that you lack these wordpress specific features like automatic backups automatic updates improved security and better enhanced performance now with managed wordpress hosting you are getting all of these advanced specific features for your wordpress website a few downsides, though, are that it may be more expensive, although on some websites the prices are extremely comparable. And another downside is that you can only host WordPress on these hosting plans. Now, if you're interested in deciding which plan is better for you, personally, I think it would come down to a few things. The first thing is whether or not you are specifically going to use WordPress and nothing else for your website. If you want to experiment around with other content management systems, then definitely go with shared hosting. If not, however, managed WordPress hosting is still an option. Another thing to take into consideration is the price difference. Although on some websites like Bluehost.com, the prices are pretty much the same, prices can vary a bit between these two hosting plans, with the managed WordPress hosting usually being slightly more expensive. Now, it is worth noting that a lot of companies actually offer their managed WordPress hosting plans for almost as cheap, if not as cheap, as their shared hosting plans. A good example of this is a company like Bluehost, which, as you can see, offers their managed WordPress hosting plans from around $2.95 per month, with up to 50 gigs of disk space and a free domain name. So if you are planning to use WordPress and you do pick out a cheap host, there's really no reason to go for a shared hosting system unless you want to experiment with other CMS. There are also more elite hosting systems which give you access to more premium managed features like maybe custom dashboards and other stuff like that, but you really don't need those if you're looking just for an affordable cost. A website like Bluehost.com is great. There's always the option to go for a more expensive plan if you want those features, but it's most certainly not necessary. So yeah, just to recap, managed WordPress hosting is used for WordPress specific sites and gives you added features that are WordPress specific, such as improved performance, increased customization, and automatic backups and better security. Shared hosting, however, lets you use multiple content management systems, and it's just more of a general and open plan overall. So, thank you guys so much for listening. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll be sure to respond. Also, just a reminder that I have left a link in the description so you can compare the best managed WordPress plans and shared hosting plans, and also receive special discounts. Thank you for watching, till next time, and have a great day.